Okay, so today we are going to be making these embroidery hoops. I'm going to be doing a fast play tutorial for you guys, and I hope you guys find it helpful. And all the links and everything will be below um, for, you know, my blog and everything like that. So I hope you guys um, enjoy the video, and let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be starting off painting the embroidery hoops with some gesso. I just took them apart and just, you know, rough painting them, um, leaving some of the wood to show. I really like that look. And I'm um, trying not to get too much, you know, on the hardware. And then I will place them, you know, to the side to dry. And now I'm going to be painting the letters for uh, the embroidery hoops with some gesso. And then later I do... Um, put some crackle accents and stuff on them. And now I'm going to be tracing the embroidery hoops onto my paper. I'm just kind of deciding where I, what images I want out of the paper and then on tracing the embroidery hoops, um, the inside of the hoop, not the outside of the hoop. Um, because what I am doing is cutting about a fourth of an inch to a half an inch depending on the size of your embroidery hoop, um, outside the line that you made with the, um, preferably a pencil, because um, then it'll be easy to add your glue and it'll sit nicely on the back side of the embroidery hoop. So after I have cut out all the circles, I'm going to be kind of um, placing them how, um, you know, I want the, the paper and the, the hoops to, to lay. And then I'm going to be making some lines so that I can line them up when I'm going to glue them down so that I have it perfect. So you can see there that I'm making the lines with the pencil so I can erase it later. Um, and then I will be um, gluing them down, the paper down with some uh, E6000, a very generous amount. I do not want these, um, you know, to come apart in any way. So the E6000 is perfect. And I do apologize for some of the video is kind of choppy. I don't know um, why that is, but um, I do apologize for that. So I'm just gluing them down and then I'm just going to set them aside to dry. The E6000, I want it to be, you know, really, really dry before I start embellishing and things. Um, so now I'm just taking some more gesso and um, kind of brushing it on the paper to give it a little bit more shabby, whitewashed look. Um, the lighting is not the greatest, and I apologize for that, but I hope you guys get the gist of the tutorial. And... Now I'm going to be um, just, uh, what I did was I just cut a uh, piece of paper, I'm sorry, and I'm just roughing it up with a Prima Distress tool to place on the other side of um, the inside of the hoop just to give it some more um, patterns and things. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm going to be doing a lot of the embellishing and things before I place before I glue the embroidery hoops together, it really helps because um, then you know you have a lot of it done already, and then you don't have to kind of you know glue behind there, and you know it's it's easier this way. I did it the opposite way the last time, and I I decided to do it this way and this time, and it worked out a lot better. You just have to trace out kind of roughly where your um, your embroidery hoops are going to lay um, and then it'll make it really really easy so I'm just layering some flowers and um, you know a butterfly there and I think that's like a um, little sticker and just lots of little random things um, this is you know more so you know, um, choice and style preference. Everybody's style is different of how they, you know, make their layouts and their crafts and stuff. So, um, I don't, I haven't glued it down yet. I'm just, 
I just placed it like this so that I could see kind of where the um, where they're going to be so that I can kind of do more embellishing and um, I'm just going to be um, putting more flowers and I'm actually I actually decided to cut off that lace because it's going to be um, hidden by the embroidery hoop so no sense in keeping that there when I can use it somewhere else. Okay, so to glue these together, I had um, cut out some cardboard and layered them together. I think it was two for the second hoop, and I put a very generous amount of E6000, and um, I put the uh, cardboard underneath the embroidery hoops, as you can see there, and that one, I believe, I put four. So... Um, just kind of gives it a little bit more stability so that they're not flopping around or anything because um, you know glue can only hold so much so it just gives it a little bit more stability and I did leave the hardware um, so you could see it and then here I'm just layering um, this vintage doily that I had I picked up at a thrift store um, and I just cut it up and I'm just going to be layering it randomly over the embroidery hoops and I'm just stuffing it behind there and if it does seem kind of like a weird angle um, well to me it does maybe because I know but um, I'm actually I actually film it um, upside down and then I flip the video so sometimes it gets a little weird but Okay, so here I'm just layering some more of that, uh, um, the doily, and just placing it behind there, and I'm going to be layering some more flowers, and all that yumminess, um, what did I put there, um, I think a butterfly maybe, oh, and just making sure um, it's all glued down, and um, I do end up um, moving that, so you could see that it's gone there, but um, I put a dusty attic fountain there as you could see right smack in the middle and I just brushed it with some gesso and then um, I really like that fountain and then you could see that I fussy cut out some images some butterflies and a little fairy on the right side and then I actually added um, one of the little charms on the left side um, a lot of it is, I can't get all of it into the video, it's just a lot of details and a lot of little things that I've done and so, um, the, you know, I can only do uh, 15 minutes of video, so. Um, what I did there is I just placed some um, burlap, I had these little burlap flowers that I sprayed with some glimmer mist and I just placed it behind that flower there just to give it a little bit more texture. And just placing a gorgeous Prima Camelot flower there with more of that burlap. And really like that look. And here I'm trying to decide where I want the title to be. Um, and, you know, like I said, the papers and embellishments and everything like that is your preference. Um, if you happen to love this, I hope that I have shown you enough to where you can make it exactly like this um, and here I'm just uh, tying up some lace and I'm just going to be tucking it behind those flowers over on the left side there
Okay, so here I'm going to be uh, painting some of these wild ochre craft flowers with some gesso and then I actually spray them with some very very watered down um, um, Lindy's I don't recall the color but um, it just gives it a really nice shabby two-toned look and then I'm going to be placing these vintage metal embellishments on the corners of the photo mats on um, the uh, embroidery hoops and then I'm just going to be adding just some more little details some of these pearls um, and I use my um, quick stick I love this tool it is a lifesaver um, to add these pearls inside in the middle of the metal butterfly and that basically is it and I it is super super simple you guys and I hope this helped you guys out and I hope you guys share your embroidery hoops and like I said thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed and I would love to read your comments and I do have a overview video and I will have a link below and um, thanks again so much for watching I'll catch you guys later bye